gentlemen, how are you? I trust you're doing fantastic. I am doing really well and I am so excited, so excited to finally be bringing the first official episode of In The Loo with Duncan Bronio and welcome to the official sets. Yes, good things take time. I know the introduction of this particular show, I did it in January of 2020 and some people have been asking me, what happened to the show? Are you done with it? Are you going to give us any episode? And the answer has been a resounding yes all through. In fact, I've not had what you'd call peace simply because I've not had done the production yet. But I am so happy that we are finally here. Uh, we've taken time just to think through the show and to see what works to even get partners on board, people you can work with. Um, and I'm happy to say that I have a very powerful team. Uh, behind the cameras, I have certified image. Uh, I'm working with an editor called Ian, uh, Ian Othiambo, and in the spirit of inclusivity, we'll be having a sign language interpreter in every single episode. And our sign language interpreter is in Kaziri Id. I have makeup artists. Ideally, we have a team that we're going to bring this this particular show to you. Yeah. And many people, many people have been asking me as well, why? Why in the loo? Why is it important? You know what, um, the whole of the first season of this particular show, we're going to talk about mental health. But that starts in episode two. But in the first episode, this particular episode, I simply want to talk about why the show, why in the loop, why is it important? Why do I choose? Why in the loop? yeah? So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's do it. So just to be sure that it's just not a matter of being biased and just thinking that, you know, um, people spend time in the loo, you know, uh, doing things that I do or maybe beyond. I asked a couple of friends, what other reason makes them go to the loo? Or why would they spend so much time in the loo? And here's what people had to say. What do you Ladies and gentlemen, is what some of you had to say about why they go to the loo or why they spend so much time in the loo. I don't know whether you agree with me. Um, I would love to know what are your reasons. Why do you go to the loo? Yeah. On to my story now. Um, why the loo? January of 2020 was not a very good time for me. Between Jan and I think March, um, I was in solitude. Yeah, a time of soul searching, just um, self-analysis and just thinking, what am I doing? What's my purpose? Um, at the time where I go to read uh, books, um, just scribble down several notes. I will keep sharing this. And one day I head into the loo and I'm done with my business. But now, roughly six minutes later, I'm still in the loo and it hit me. Why am I here? So that question kept on coming to me. Why am I still in the loo? And I'm done with the business of the day. And I realized it's because for me, the loo is a safe space. It's a, it's a space where I can be vulnerable. It's a space where I can be naked. Literally and otherwise, it's a space where um, I, can be, I can bring out the ugly me. It's a space where generally I can simply be me. And I thought about it and it hit me. Why can't I use this space? Um, especially in light of the pandemic and everything that is happening, people are struggling, people have lost jobs. Um, even according to the World Health Organization, the most affected people by this pandemic are the youth. First of all, even before the pandemic, um, jobs were, people who didn't get job, jobs easily. Uh, it was still a struggle to, you know, lock down jobs. But now, especially like in Kenya, 
um, 1.4 million people have lost jobs due to the pandemic. Now you can imagine the burden that that brings to an individual. So I thought, this is my safe space. Why can't I just use it uh, to speak to people, to share my experiences? And again, I am not a psychiatrist, I am not a psychologist, I am not a counselor. I just share from my own individual experiences and my work in the mental health space. Um, so that is what we shall be doing uh, the whole of this the first season. And then from season two, we'll, we'll keep on um, adding things or just restructuring the show. So that is the reason why we, um, this particular show exists, uh, just to be vulnerable, to tell people, to share with people uh, my own story, stories of other people, as well as preach hope, because I believe hope is what makes you go through or endure something painful today, because tomorrow is better. Yeah, so that is the reason why this particular show exists and would love you to join um, the journey all through. Um, make, make it your safe space. Come speak to us. Let's share. Let's speak. Uh, let's see what we can do with each other. Yeah. So my favorite section, I think, in this particular show will be something called the flashdown. Yeah, you had it right. In the loo, once you go to the loo, biologically, you had there to, you know, release um, what can't be used by your body. And when that time comes, you can't just leave it. You have to flush it down. So in this, in the conversation we shall be having in this particular show, uh, we'll be talking about, say, for example, uh, what is mental health? Uh, once we cover that topic, there are so many myths around mental health. In demystifying those myths around mental health, or maybe depression or um, addictions, we flash down things that we don't like, topics that we hear that, you know, are not interesting to us or things that are just wrong and are not factual. For any product or a service to be successful, it needs coordinated effort, it needs teamwork. And this is a call to you, a potential sponsor, that, uh, you know, you come on board and then we can make sure that this happens and grows to be big and better. I'm speaking to any company out there whose business is the loop. Uh, whether you're manufacturers of hand wash soap uh, or just a bar soap, uh, tissue, um, air freshener, talking about toilet cleaners, um, scoring powder, even mats, we need uh, decorations in the loo. Any business, for as long as your business is the loo, reach out to us, let's see what we can do together to make sure that this particular show grows to be as big as it can be, right? Hit us up, email in our description below. And to you, our viewers, the only way you can make this show successful, please do share with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook pages, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter, and most importantly, tell us what you think. Speak to us in the comment section. What do you think about the episode? What would you like us to talk about, yeah? As we continue, because you are the reason why we are doing this, okay? We've come to the end of the first episode of In The Loo with Duncan Bromio and I appreciate you for, uh, for watching the episode right from when we started up to now. And if you've loved anything we've spoken about, please make sure you speak to us in the comment section, tell us what you think, share with your friends, subscribe, like our pages, share this content. If you believe it's content that can help a friend of yours, please do share, all right? Subscribe and don't forget, we meet uh, in the next episode where we talk about mental health. What is mental health? We've been hearing this word thrown left, right, and center. What is mental health? Learn with us, all right? Let's meet next time. I've been your host, Dan Camronio, and this is In The Loo with Dan Camronio, where every shitty idea gets flushed down the toilet. Peace.